Hi, Pat Logue from the Logue Group, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services here in Ocean City. Today we're going to be talking about five things you should absolutely know before you consider moving to Ocean City full time. And at the end, we'll go through every neighborhood and even highlight the best neighborhoods. Just leave a comment below and I'll send you some additional buyer information. Ocean City is a barrier island in southern New Jersey that is nine miles long. It is a if you're thinking of moving to Ocean City, think about the things to do not in the summer. I think everybody kind of knows in the summer we have our beaches, our surfing, our boating, our swimming, our boardwalk, and lots of downtown shopping and restaurants. But they don't all close up in the off season. Actually, we have tons of things going on, including a fall and a spring block party. We have Christmas parades. We have Halloween parades. It's a great little town to live in year round. Actually, the probably best two or three months of the year is the fall. The locals call it local summer because the weather's just as nice and there's not as many people here. Let's talk about the types of units that are available for sale here in Ocean City. The smaller end, we have some efficiencies or one bedroom units that are what we call condo tells. These are buildings that were originally hotels that have now been converted to private ownership of units within them. Then we have some mid-rise condos, um, some high-rise condos, or some condo associations in different parts of the island. From there, we go to what we have a lot of is a two-unit condo. That's where you would own the first floor, your neighbor would own the second floor. Together, you would make a small homeowners association, and you would take care of your hazard insurance there, your flood insurance there, and also any agreed upon maintenance. And then above that, we have a number of single family homes within Ocean City. A lot of our neighborhoods lean one way or another, but we'll talk about properties we have. Ocean City is a barrier island. It's kind of shaped like a tadpole with the head to the north and a tail to the south. The neighborhoods starting from the north are the gardens. The gardens are primarily single family homes. It's the only neighborhood in which Ocean City is not built in a direct grid. The gardens was added on, it was actually produced as a result of some storms early in the 1900s. And ironically, if you go to Longport, the southern end of Longport is 12th Street. So where our inlet is right now is where Longport ended and the inlet used to be where the gardens are. The next neighborhood is the north end. North end is from North Street to 6th Street, primarily filled with a lot of condominiums, um, one, two, or three unit condominiums. We see some year-round owners there. The Bay Area. The Bay Area is from North to 16th Street along the western side of the island. After that, we have the Central Area, which is 6 to the 18th Street, which is on the east side, which borders the beach and the boardwalk. The Riviera is another area, and that's on the western side of the island, and there's a series of lagoons through there, and many of the units in the Riviera are waterfront properties. It's a great area for all your water sports, from kayaks to jet skis to sport fishing boats. After that, we come on along the west side to the Bay Landings area. That's a series of cul-de-sacs populated with only single family homes. The other area that's very popular with our summer folks is the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast is from 18th to 29th Street, from Wesley to the Beach and Boardwalk. On the western side of the island, there's another neighborhood as you're coming in from 34th Street Bridge, just to the south of Roosevelt Boulevard, it is Marion Park. These are mostly single family homes. The neighborhood after that is Ocean City Homes. It's a seven block long, west of Bay Avenue, really almost on your way to Strathmere. Almost all single family homes in that area. And the last area is the South End. The South End is very great for summertime, a little bit quieter in the off singles and two unit condominiums all the way from the end of the Gold Coast to 59th Street. Now, if you're picking neighborhoods to live in year round, you can live in any one of the, those neighborhoods year round, but there's some that have a little bit denser population. Probably in no particular order, the three best areas that I think people have found to live in are the gardens, the Bay Area, and the Riviera. They seem to be the most popular. Like I said, there's others that are filled with year-round residents, 
but they seem to be the most densely populated. Any information regarding Ocean City real estate, feel free to reach out to me at the contact information below.